We all know what a rapid test looks like at home, right? 10 seconds each nostril, add reagent, and watch for the dreaded second line. But what does a PCR test look like in the lab? I'm Andrew Chapman, and we're using PCR testing to detect coronavirus today in the lab. I'm in the lab with Chris. Chris, what do you do in the lab? Well, Andrew, I'm a medical lab technologist here at the UHN Sinai Microbiology Lab. Oh, amazing. Now, for the last couple of years, we've all been taking PCR tests. But I have to be honest with you, I don't know what PCR stands for. What does it stand for? Well, PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. Okay, and what do those words mean? Well, essentially, it's a technique that we use in the lab to look for a specific DNA sequence and to replicate it to a detectable level. And is there anything else that a PCR test will test for? Of course. So other than um, viruses, we can test for bacteria to see if they have DNA that would grant them resistance to certain antibiotics. We can test for the presence of group A strep that gives you strep throat, coarse flu, and yes, the popular COVID. So what are the steps to a PCR test? Well, essentially, we're taking that double-stranded DNA inside a sample, and we split it up and create multiple copies using those single strands. Okay, so that sample comes from me, from inside my nose. Correct. And then what happens? Right, so once your specimen comes into our lab, we'll take a small little aliquot of it and put it into one of our test cartridges, and we put it into our PCR module. And this is where the magic happens. That little sample of your specimen will be interacting with different reagents and going through valves and little tubes, and it'll be exposed to things like chemicals or sound waves that break apart the cells to expose that DNA. Once we have that DNA purified and exposed, then we can start the PCR process and replicate it and see if you have COVID or whatever we're looking for. Whoa, sound waves? Yes. That's amazing. I know, right? And so you've done these tests in the lab at the height of COVID, how many times? Oh, about in a day, we can do 20,000. 20,000? 20,000. And that 20,000 accounted for a quarter of the tests done in the entire province of Ontario. That's incredible. That's really cool. If you want to see more videos like this one or learn more about what happens in the lab, please visit medlabprofessionals.ca.